are right in the middle of the Wisteria Mystery Create Along and I wanted to do a quick video on how to do a lifeline during your knitting. A lifeline is basically a way that you can get back to a point in your project without having to rip everything back all the way to the beginning and, and you'll know you're on track and ready to go. So I think it's a wonderful idea. Lifelines are actually totally new to me so thank you all for teaching me something new. But like I said, I think it's an amazing idea whenever you're knitting really any project if you're new to knitting and you don't know how to go back and correct your stitches. Uh, that's one of the biggest things that new knitters struggle with. So if you're working on wisteria, you'll have your lace pattern on, on the big part of wisteria anyways. This is segment one. And it's not as important where you do it on segment one. But during the big sections of Wisteria, you'll have a lace section and then we'll offset those lace sections the next time around. So this piece would be coming up here. And in between every offset, there are going to be plain knit and plain purl rows. So those are the perfect rows to go ahead and put in a lifeline during so that you know it's a plain row and you can go right back to it if you have any issues with the lace section on that bit. So I highly suggest doing that. Now a lifeline is pretty easy. All you need is some dental floss. And of course I use the unflavored kind since I do not want my Project Minty Fresh, but whatever floats your boat. Or you could also just use a piece of contrasting yarn that is a thin weight yarn. And then you also need a yarn or tapestry needle. I am going to say that a plastic one like the one I have is not your best bet for doing this with. If you have a uh, sharper metal one, then it's gonna be a little bit easier. But this is what I have on hand, so this is what I'm gonna use. And the whole theory is that essentially you just weave this through the bottom of your stitches all the way through from one side to the other. Of course, you want to make sure you don't catch your yarn or anything. And you're just going to weave it through all the way to the other side, just like that. Takes a little bit of time, especially if you don't have a sharper needle. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. I'll be right back. All right, so when you have your piece of floss all the way through, you can see that it's just underneath your needle. It's kind of hard to see, actually. And it won't affect your next row. You work your next row just like you would normally. You just don't pick up the piece of floss, just pick up your stitches. And then when you get done with that next row, you're gonna have this piece of floss going all the way through your project. So that way, if by some chance you mess up in one of the upcoming rows and you need to rip out your stitches, when you rip them back to this row, your row is going to look just like this. It's going to be all set, all of your loops on your piece of floss, ready to pick right back up onto your needles again so that you can continue your project. And you would just insert your needles through like that. So basically it's just a helpful way to save yourself from having to start over if you happen to drop any stitches or lose any stitches or anything along those lines. See, then you are ready to go again.